So I'm Polly Firestone Walker. I'm Steve Lipp, owner of Alexander Murray Scotch Whiskey Company. And I'm Matt Brennelson, brewmaster at Firestone Walker Brewing Company. We've been using whiskey, whiskey casks, or in our case, bourbon casks, um, for many years to age our vintage reserve beers. And really, in many ways, uh, we've intercepted those casks en route to Scotch producers. Um, it's well known that bourbon can only uh, sit in the cask once, and at that point, the barrels go on to other lives. In our case, we make beers, and the beer only sits there for about a year before it develops into what we want. Um, but most of the time those casks are going to other, other uh, producers, tequila, in this case scotch, um, and I believe that the distillers there know a lot more about these barrels um, than we do. Uh, certainly we get a lot of flavor out of them. In the case of Double DBA, the beer that was involved here, after one year we pick up a lot of vanilla. Um, we kind of get this creme brulee uh, essence from the barrels. Uh, and then normally we would just ship them off and not know where they go. Uh, in this case, we were asked to prepare casks to go overseas and I was very skeptical because in a brewer's mind, those that beer is very fragile, what beer is left in the barrel is very fragile. And I didn't know if it would make it all the way over there. No, the as Matt said, the bourbon industry, by law, they're only allowed to use the, the casks once. And the Scottish, being very thrifty, we, we buy the ex-bourbon casks and we re renew them numerous times. So we, we fix them sometimes and they're reused four, five, six times. It takes four weeks in a container to get to Scotland. So the, the master blender and Tully Barn distiller, he was a bit concerned on how the, you know, the casks would be there once they arrived. Yeah, Tully Barn was the distillery, uh, it was built, it was used to be a, a former brewer, brewery, built in 1488, and then uh, 526 years later, 1947, it was converted into a distillery, Tully Barn distillery. So the actual Tully Barn brewery, uh, it was the first recorded sale of a beer. King James IV, he was on his way to his coronation in Scotland. He stopped by Tully Barton Brewery and it was the first recorded ever, you know, sale of a pint of beer. So there's quite a historic connection there between a brewery and the, the, the whiskey we have now. Different casks all had double DBA, but each cask was treated differently so that we could tell when they got to the distillery what result uh, worked best. And uh, it was really fascinating when we were blending to to you know smell the different casks, the different way they were treated, and you could pick up different uh, flavors already even before the whiskey went in, just from the different handling. And across the board, I was actually pleased that almost all of the ways we shipped the casks resulted in, you know, good luck. So I think that, you know, maybe brewers are overly cautious by nature. It makes sense that that was also a brewery at some time because in terms of the mash tons um, and the way uh, yeast and, and all these things are used, it looks like a brewery, it smells like a brewery. Single, single malt's basically, a, you know, before they distill it, it's a strong beer. Yeah. So. It's wonderful watching uh, watching John Torrance work and then watching you work and having grown up with winemakers. And you all have that same combination of scientist and artist and totally passionate about what you do. <laughs> it was wonderful to see those comparisons. The whole idea seemed to sprout around a dinner at our table one night and um, discussing how barrels are used and how do, we, how do we complete the cycle and would it work. And, um, this guy introducing me to the wonders of Scotch whiskey. <laughs> I, mean, I think from the brewery program, um, you, you get asked a million times, when are you going to put a still in? When are you going to start distilling? When are you going to make whiskey? And we're brewers. I mean, our business is making beer, and maybe someday we'll get into it. There's certainly plenty on our staff that are curious about it, but this was a nice first step in that direction um, to see how this all works, um, see how it should taste, not necessarily how we would make it. Um, so it was really fun.